So now that it's almost 2024, I'm looking back and thinking, what have I even done this year? this time I made a video about my New Year's resolution and in that video I said my New Year's resolution was to not have a New Year's resolution but instead to focus on building up a lot of small wins throughout the year so now that it's almost 2024 I'm looking back and thinking what have I even done this year kind of overwhelming and just a lot. I think that's got a lot to do with like the expectation that society has where like you have to set a new resolution every year and like accomplish this big goal every year. Like to me that feels unrealistic. And so that's why when it comes to New Year's resolutions, I've never really been one to participate or to partake. Like I understand the intent of it, but personally I've just never really been one to do that kind of thing. Because like I said in last year's video, instead of doing a resolution, I wanted to set some small goals, or not even set goals, just do small things, accumulate small wins, and that, that was my intention. That was my, quote, resolution. So, so my question from earlier, what have I even done this year? Did I accomplish what I wanted to accomplish at the start of this year or at the end of last year? What have I done? So in order to find out what I've actually done this year, I went back and I scrolled through my old videos starting from January 1st of 2023. So this year I read two books, bought new gear, watched Star Wars, I ran a decent amount, expressed gratitude, tried something new with the pocket notebook, brought the podcast back, made tough decisions in switching to weekly videos as opposed to four a week, made money with my passions, made some memories, a lot of memories actually. Good year for that. I made my very best. I made my very best again. I broke my own records. I customized, I relaxed, I experimented, and I quit. I resolved plenty of conflicts, I found my thing, and I became a YouTube partner. The channel has recently been accepted into the YouTube partner program, and for that I'm beyond grateful, and I celebrate that. After that I rested, I recharged, and I vlogged. And then I vlogged again, and then I vlogged again, and then I vlogged again. And then I vlogged again, and I vlogged again, and 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 again, it can be hard to look back and acknowledge exactly what you've done over the past year. Like I know for me, I had trouble I had trouble just thinking about it without looking back because you know, when you think about what you've done, you don't necessarily default to thinking about the small things. I think especially with the new year, we are conditioned to focus on the big thing that we've done, right? The big goal or the big achievement or the big job or whatever. But oftentimes, only focusing on that one big goal without first focusing on the process or the smaller goals to get to that goal, you'll oftentimes find yourself left disappointed because you're not acknowledging those small wins, you're just acknowledging that you didn't get to the big goal. Even though you might have made all the progress in the world, you didn't get there, and that sucks. And so that's what you focus on. So my point with this video is to bring light and bring acknowledgement to the small wins. Not having a New Year's resolution or a big goal or whatever, but focusing on the process, focusing on the small wins to get you to that point. And just doing the thing every single day, whatever it is, towards that goal and enjoying the doing of the thing. I made a list of 
all of the small things that I've accomplished this year. Some are bigger than others, some are way bigger than the others, some are way smaller than others. But I made a list of all of them. All of the things that nobody would really recognize. Things that don't really get a lot of credit throughout the year. And after writing this list out of all of these small things that I've done, number one, I feel a sense of pride and I feel a sense of gratitude for the year past and all the things that I've been able to accomplish during this year. And not only that, but it becomes abundantly clear to me the big theme and the big thing that I did do this year. When I look at my videos now, versus at the start of the year, at the start of 2023, this is what I've done. I improved. When I was watching back my New Year's resolution video from the start of this year, the start of 2023, I'm gonna be honest, I had a hard time watching it. You could tell I was trying to kind of keep the video structured, but I think the execution just wasn't quite there. Not only that, but I was very, very early in the process of learning not only how to tell stories through these videos, but how I tell stories. But looking back at that, I don't blame that version of myself at all. I'm not hard on that person or I'm not, I don't think, wow, that sucked really bad. Like, I think it's, it's, it's healthier to, instead of looking back and thinking, wow, that was terrible, think, if that guy, if, if Garrett from 2023 in January could see where Garrett in December of 2023 is at, if he could see where I'm at now, he'd be really freaking proud. And he would think, if that's me in the future, I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. Keep learning, keep trying new things, and just keep seeking to improve every time out. Every time I make a new video, seek to make it better. As of this video coming out, the new year starts tomorrow. I don't have a new year's resolution. Again, I don't have one. But I do have some goals. Some, again, are bigger than others. Some are smaller than others, but here they are. So at some point in the new year, I want to achieve these things. I want to achieve full YouTube monetization, meaning I have 4,000 hours of watch time and I'm able to get paid for the views that I get on the channel. I want to achieve regularly getting 1,000 plus views on videos. Maybe that's, you know, one video every month that hits it. Maybe that's every video that hits it. I just want to do it more than I did it last year. I would like to get another video to hit at least 10,000 views. I would like to get a full year of weekly uploads under my belt. Because last year I started in April, so I didn't get the full year worth, but this year I want to start it in January and go as often as I can every week. I also want to write more this year. I've done a ton of writing, like in these pocket notebooks, um, but I want to think, I want, I've been doing, with these particular notebooks, I've been taking about three months to fill them up. I would like to do more writing to where I fill them up maybe every month or two, and I would like to get a video to hit 100,000 views. So these are just a few of the goals that I have this year. I'm sure there'll be more that come up throughout the year, more short-term type of goals, but I think this year is gonna be a really big year. And I say that every year, but every year has been really big. I've done a lot every year in the last several years. So this year, I want it to be even more, even bigger. But number one overall, I wanna maintain not only consistency, but getting better consistently every week, besting myself in some way, shape, or form, and making my fifth year on YouTube my best. <laughs>